We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody. This is Matt Monarch and Araya Berry Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show. And today I'm going to share with you what I used to eat 14 years ago when I first went on a 100% raw food diet. Many of you have heard that I eat one meal a day, and this is actually very effortless for me. Um, because as the years go by, your body just adapts, and it asks you when you do keep up with this cleansing, especially when you do colon cleansing, um, it becomes easier and easier. The hardest part is the big jump into the 100% raw food diet. That's where it's just crazy. And um, today I want to share with you exactly what I used to eat every single night for the first seven years of my raw food diet. <laughs> and so I would make a salad, enough to feed everybody out of potluck for myself. And I've told this story many times, but I've never actually gave a visual of what I actually used to eat every single night for dinner. So um, if you want to take a look at this huge salad bowl of lettuce right here, what I would do is cut up like two huge, from the farmer's market two huge romaine lettuces, sometimes even three if they weren't big enough. And what I would do is I would take three large avocados, but since these avocados weren't big enough, I took four, like medium large avocados. And what I would do is just throw all these avocados on top of this lettuce. You might look at that and think, there's no way that's two lettuces, but if you've never been to the Southern California farmer's markets, you don't know what size a lettuce can be. The remains there are huge. So, um, when I first went on the 100% raw food diet, a lot of you are probably looking at this amount of food, and you're thinking, I couldn't eat that. Well, go on a 100% raw food diet, which is pretty much all water-based foods. This is practically all just water you're eating. Deprive yourself of all other foods, <laughs> and I guarantee that you'll be loving this salad every single night. And what I would do is I would take my hand and squish it in here, and it would turn into like a lettuce guacamole to where we're just like dealing with I know people who were trying to heal from disease, went on a 100% raw food diet, lost 50 pounds of weight, was healing from disease, and they were eating a jar of almond butter every single night. They would get knocked out and fall asleep, but hey, it was working for them. And what happens is, I'll explain in a second, but, so here we have this. We're talking guacamole lettuce. And then I would take 10 huge heirloom tomatoes from the, from the farmer's market, cut them up like this, and throw it in. It's like the same size of the salad. Oops, I forgot the dolls. This is like probably four ounces, like a huge bag of dolls. And then I would just, it's like the same amount of lettuce, and I would just kind of mix it in there. And this was back in the day when I watched TV. So what I would do, is mix all this together. The reason I put the tomatoes in later is so I didn't squish them to death. I'm just kind of mixing them in. And then I would take my chopsticks and I would sit in front of the TV and eat this entire thing all by myself. Right now, I probably could eat only a fourth of it. Araya's gonna help you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. It's crazy. <clears throat> and would you sometimes put in different things, like maybe peas or something? Yeah, I would add peas and more stuff that were kind of sweet and awesome. And when in the very beginning of my journey, like this wasn't even enough. I'd be going back to the refrigerator, getting fruit and crazy things like that. And 
I ate the same exact meal for the first seven years of being raw every single night, along with some other meals throughout the day. <clears throat> and why was I able to handle this amount of food? Because it was such an improvement compared to my last previous diet. much like all water and this looks like a lot to you but again if you were to go on a 100% raw food diet it'd be very extremely easy so this is what I ate 14 years ago and for the first seven years of my raw food diet I ate the same salad but what happens is as the years go by you become cleaner and your body becomes more efficient and you require less food and after seven years I started to wake up from all this, I realized it was the avocado, I'd wake up with a runny nose every single morning. But I just dealt with it for two or three months because I didn't want to emotionally lose my salad every single night. But then I got so miserable with this runny nose that I decided, okay. So I cut down my avocado intake, so I just put two large avocados instead and my runny nose stopped. And as the years went by, my body required less and less food to the point where I'm only eating once a day now. And nowhere near that amount. Right, I'm actually going to show you what I eat now. Um, we're going to take one quick break though. Alright, before we get back into the second half of this video of me making the meals that I eat today, the way I was able to jump into a 100% raw food diet overnight, and the way I was able to stay on a 100% raw food diet without veering was simply two things. The first was stuffing myself with things like that salad that you just saw. Secondly, colon cleansing. And we're gonna go back and we're gonna talk about both of these right now. So when you improve your diet, you go through something called detox. And I've talked about this many times. Detox is when you eliminate a substance from your body, your intake completely, and you go through withdrawals. For example, if you have been drinking coffee for 20 years and then you stop drinking coffee, you get a headache, you get shakes, and you go through withdrawals, also known as detox. And as you're going through these withdrawals, you just want your fix. You want to drink that coffee. You want to stop the withdrawal process. It's, you want to stop the detox and get stimulated and get high again. When you get to the other side, there's the natural spiritual high that we're talking about. And that's what makes all of this so beneficial, including healing the body from disease. So here we are trying to do something huge. Humans have brought their diets to such an extreme level of trans fatty acid, GMO foods, processed foods, fast foods. It's crazy. And in order to get back, to the way we used to eat. And I'm not even talking a raw food diet is the way to go or anything like that. We're just talking clean food. Everybody used to cook their food, whole foods. This is what we're going for. So we've taken our diet to such an extreme. And once, if you think the coffee drinker has it bad, when they eliminate their one substance of coffee or cigarettes or alcohol, and they go through withdrawals and they have issues with that sort of thing, that's nothing compared to what a person on a goes on a raw food diet does, which is pretty much all 80, 90 percent water, every single food on a raw food diet. And you go through major withdrawals. The coffee drinker has it easy. You're eliminating trans fatty acids, processed foods. It's the hundreds of ingredients. And so here we go, trying to do something amazing, trying to heal our human body if we have cancer or some other degenerative disease, asthma or anything. Go on. If you have any issue, type in raw food diet with that ailment on YouTube and Google and I guarantee you'll see someone who helped themselves by doing this process. So what they've done is they've created terms like orthorexia and stuff like this where they try to make someone look crazy for trying to eliminate foods and go through the withdrawals because you're, you're going to go through some food issues. And this is one reason why I had to stuff myself. And it took like five years, but then at that point, it became effortless. My body adapted to eating the way it's supposed to eat, and it, now it wants me to eat less. It's begging me to, and I'm trying to hold it back. So, 
I ate this huge salad every single night. I know people that are eating jars of almond butter every single night who are healing and have lost all this weight. And I guess we had food issues. But now today, you're about to see this video of me where I just eat that one thing and I'm stuffed. It's a small bowl. You'll see what I'm talking about. And the reason why colon cleansing was the other, so I stuffed myself, number one, with raw food only. And I'm not saying you have to do it this way. This is just what worked for me. I would, the way I was able to do this was stuffing myself and colon cleansing because when you eliminate more than just one substance, coffee is nothing, refined sugar, soda, all that junk, you become inundated with toxins, you body odor, you smell, and the way to get around this, the cheating process, the ones that, cele the cheating thing that celebrities use to stay young that they don't tell anybody about. They do a juice fast with colon cleansing every six months. Colon cleansing removes the cravings, with, removes the withdrawals, makes the BL go away, brings you to a whole other vibration. This is why it was so easy for me to go on a raw food diet. It's cheating the process, stuffing myself with raw foods and colon cleansing. And let's go back to me and my precious baby girl as I show you what I eat today. Okay, so we're back. And um, so as the years go by, you start to require less food. And when I got to Ecuador, the air quality was so clean. For some reason, after I would have my second meal of the day, I would get totally knocked out. And I was miserable, so I would cut down to one meal a day where I could kind of eat more. And um, so this is what I used to eat again. And now t today, what I do is I take a bowl of cucumber like this with dulse in it. I'll put a, a few te teaspoons of oils on it that are omega fatty acids. And then what I do is I take a nori, take some nut butter. I guess like the main bulk of my food is the nut butter. And then I just pour it on like that. Take this that usually has oil in it and stuff like that. Maybe add some sprouts since we just have the easy green sprouter. And then I'll roll it up and eat that and do that again and again until this is gone. And I'm completely done for the rest of the entire day. I'm stuffed. It's like I don't want any more food. It's effortless. It's the, the most difficult part was even when I was eating this amount of food right here, I was, it was hard for me. I'd be passing sushi joints and uh, and pizza joints just going crazy wanting more food and now it's just simple so it's just like you got to get over that hump and, th and throughout the day what I do is um, I'll also drink green juice which is not a solid meal so I don't count that as a meal and since we have coconuts out here we're very blessed I ate lots of coconuts drink lots of coconuts drink lots of coconuts so I just uh, drink all day long and have one solid meal a day in the past, I used to have two or three meals, and this was the big bad boy I used to eat, which we're gonna have to like give away now because there's no way we're gonna eat this whole thing. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, in conclusion, the most difficult part is when you first improve your diet, you go through major detox and withdrawals, emotional detox, cravings. The way around this is colon cleansing, like I've discussed in many of our previous diet videos. And this is the type of thing I did. People were eating jars of almond butter when they first went raw. They eat major quantity and able to pass through this. And so that's my diet from 14 years ago till today. And this is a Raya Berry Monarch and Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World. And we'll see you next time at the Raw Food World TV. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.